guys, my name is Gina Jemsko and we're going to take a look at some of the architect homes in Sims Free Play in this video. We got 14 new architect homes on around about the 5th of November 2016 and we've already taken a look at the first seven of them. I will link that video down below and on the screen. We're going to take a look at the final seven in today's video. I was quite impressed with the first seven so hopefully these final seven live up to what the previous seven were. I'm gonna show you all of these on a premium lot. It's possible that you can build them on a standard size lot and they will be cheaper if you build them on a standard size lot. And also pay no attention to the prices that I've got here. Yours will probably be completely different. How much it costs you to build them will not be the same as how much it costs me to build them. But let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. So here is the first house. So this is a standard sized lot and I like the entrance way this is nice and let's take a look at the oh little back garden there excuse the motorbikes in the background I am in Vietnam at the moment in Hoi An if you don't know Vietnam is like motorbike central of the world so if you can hear beeping and motorbikes in the background I do apologize well let's continue it's got a nice little pool here this is nice this area I like how they've done this with the patios and little area here it's got some Chinese Lamps, which are of course limited, and the romantic swing, if you haven't got that. Inside, it's got this nice French furniture and nice little kitchen over here, designer kitchen. Nothing limited there though, so let's go upstairs. Oh, I think we've got a couple of floors here. Got two bedrooms, yeah, two bedrooms on this floor. Nothing limited, but a nice little build so far. Then up again, we've got a living area. And kind of little play area and a bathroom where the trike is just out there on the landing. Oh, and that is that. That is really nice though. I like that build. Look at that. Good build. Good job whoever did that. Here is the next house. Again, standard. I think all of the architect homes so far have been standard sized homes. We've got, I think this is, oh no, I was going to say I think this is potentially unfinished. Maybe it is because there's nothing in this room at the back here. We've got a little pool. We've got some of the Neo Tokyo. Is that Neo Tokyo? No, that mm, is it Neo Tokyo? I don't know now I've said that. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, so we've got some of the urban furniture here, the sofas, that's nice. And ooh, we've got a hot tub here. We've got a Christmas Christmas um walk through what are they called? Um archway archway there with some mistletoe. And we can go upstairs, and oh, upstairs takes us into this nice little. Is that an? Yeah, that's an outdoor area. Little donut house here. We've got a little swing there. This is cute. Bedroom over there, and oh, like a little wizard's bit over here. This is really random. <laughs> I was not expecting to see that whatsoever. And then a little. Oh, these sofas were limited time were they or something there were some purple ones and these grey ones were they over the urban furniture or I can't remember but they're definitely not just commonly available I don't think <laughs> I can't remember let's go up and yeah that is it that's a nice little house so here's the third house and again a standard size lot this can be built on and what have we got anything rare I don't think so so far Nice little downstairs area, and we go upstairs, and we've got two bedrooms. No sort of LP things or anything, I don't think. Potentially that desk might be LPs, I think. Um, but that is all. This potion, it's not potion stand. Yeah, it is a potion stand, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's a potion stand, but lots of people kind of use it in the bathroom so that potion stand is like a couple of maybe one or two LPs I think that's a nice little build nothing too rare or LP or SV worthy in there but nice little build nonetheless right here is the fourth house again another standard size all very black and white um what have we got here well, lots of urban furniture actually. We've got some urban furniture in the kitchen and the bathroom there. Let's take a look. We've got a downstairs, we've got a basement here. Hmm. Like a laundry room down here. It is, it's kind of a very blue, black, and white theme to this house. Nice. 
Oh, it's just a one-story house. There is nothing rare or anything worth LPs or anything though, but it's a nice little build nonetheless. Here is the fifth house, and let's have a look again. Standard size lot. All of these houses are standard these days. Uh, what have we got? Anything rare? I feel like the cheaper houses were better, like in the previous video with the cheaper ones. They were better than these ones, I feel like. Oh, we've got a spa door there, or archway. Another one there. Uh, what have we got? We've got a swing. All of these houses seem to have a swing in them. And we've got a SP door there, like a patio door. Let's go, oh, I was going to say let's go up, but there's nowhere to go up. Mm, I mean, it's a fairly simple house. It's probably not worth the simoleons in terms of what it costs to build it. This is our penultimate architect home. And again, a standard size lot. I should just show you these on a standard size lot, really, shouldn't I? Um, let's have a little look. We've got a nice outdoor area here. I love it when they put effort into the outdoor area. It really makes a difference to the house when like, it's been landscaped as opposed to just a house being dumped on the plot. Nice flowers everywhere. Again, a swing, of course, a romantic swing. Maybe that was the theme for this architect home. It has to have a romantic swing if you want to get your architect home in, your home in the architect homes this time. Let's have a look. We've got nothing rare downstairs. We've got a nice open plan house. Then upstairs, we've got a little thin corridor. Do you remember when we didn't have corridors? Remember the DIY um, update? when that was when it first introduced the one by two like the thin corridors i remember before we were able to do these little thin corridors not that i do like thin corridors very often but hey uh, anyway back to the house there is mm, no nothing rare in this house although it is a nice little two bedroom yeah two bedroomed build here we go, here is the last home in the Architects. Let's hope this is a good one. So have we got, oh, it's a one floor. Definitely the one, the previous ones were better, I think. Well, never mind, right, let's have a little look if we've got anything. Um, it's a nice little design, I think. Look at this. This is a special little room, isn't it, for people to go and have a heart, um, hot tub session, I was gonna say. <laughs> go and have a bath in a heart hot tub let's go with that one uh, right let's have a little look what we have i don't think we've got anything rare but it's oh look it's a little this is a nice little build oh we have got a little fish tank that you can only get with real money in the game so you might want to build this house for that but other than that there is nothing rare or you know or costing LPs or anything, but it might be worth it for some people to build because of that fish tank. Well, this is a nice little build. It kind of confuses me where it all goes. It's a bit complicated, but is there a bedroom? Oh, yeah, over here there's a bedroom. Oh, with just archways out to the pool area. That's nice. So there you go. That completes the look at the final seven architects' homes. I definitely think the first seven were better and I do think that I am going to build maybe one or two of them. Let me know down in the comments, are you going to be building any of them and if so, which one? And also, do you submit your homes to the architect team? I remember when the architect team's feature first came out and I was like, yes, I'm going to build some houses and submit them and these days I was like, can't be bothered, I don't, I'm not bothered about submitting them. Um, let me know whether you uh, submit your homes into the architect homes thing. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys soon for a new one. Bye!